Welcome to the second in a series of our three Weight Watchers workouts. Each of the workouts has been designed for members to complement the patented points weight loss system. So you know you'll be getting a workout that's right for you. I'm Nancy Pop, and this is Get Moving. Get Moving is a 30 minute routine that will give you a total body workout at a level of moderate intensity. When it comes to weight management, most experts agree that exercising at a level of moderate intensity is ideal for weight loss and maintenance. Get Moving begins with an easy to follow warm up, after which you'll do three seven minute circuits. Each circuit includes two blocks of one and a half minutes of aerobics and two minutes of resistance. I recommend five pound hand weights for the resistance moves. You'll finish with a cool down that will include stretching for improved flexibility. Exercise along with sensible eating is key to achieving and sustaining your weight loss goals. New research is finding that those people who are most successful at losing weight and keeping it off went from doing virtually nothing to being very active every day. That's why Weight Watchers recommends a progressive approach to exercise, starting with one to two points of daily activity and gradually increasing your exercise to an average of four points a day by the time you reach your ultimate weight goal. How many points you'll earn with Get Moving depends on your current weight. If you weigh less than 155 pounds or 70 kilograms, you'll earn one point. 155 pounds or 70 kilograms to 260 pounds or 118 kilograms, two points. More than 260 pounds or 118 kilograms, three points. Before we get moving, here are a few things to remember. You should be wearing comfortable clothing and supportive aerobic shoes. Always listen to your body. You can accurately evaluate how hard you're exercising with the following scale. You're working out at a light intensity if you're able to talk and sing while exercising. You're working out at a moderate intensity if you breathe more often and deeper. You can talk but not sing and you would describe the workout as somewhat hard. You're working out at high intensity if you're breathing rapid and deep. It's difficult to hold a conversation and you describe your level as hard. I think we're ready to get moving, so let's begin. All right, it's time to warm up so we can get moving. Put your hands on your hips and march out nice and wide. There'll be a rhythm change, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, ready? Let's try that. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Again, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now you can stay in a march like this, or you can join us and create a hip roll. Okay, ready? Let's try that right here. Hip roll, hip roll, Quick, quick, and slow. Now let the arms go. That's it. And it's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. One more time. That's it. Now march it out right here. Up. March, two, three, tap left. Good. Tap your right. That's it. Tap left. You're doing good. That's it. So it's one, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. One more time. Back to the hip roll. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Again, slow, slow. You're doing good. Quick, quick, slow. Again, slow, slow. Quick, quick. One more time. That's it. Let's go back to that march. Ready? Here we go. March it out. Tap it out. Good. That's it. All right. Come on. Pick up those feet. Got to warm it up. We're working moderate level this time. Two more. Ready? Hip roll right here. Roll, roll. Quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow. We're going to add direction now. We're going to move up on the march. Here we go. Walk it, tap, take it back. That's it. Come on, you can do it. Uh-huh. Now let's add some arms the next time around. Push and pull, push and pull. Ready? Hip roll right here. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. That's it. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow. You're doing great. Come on, use your hips. One more time. Ready, guys? Let's move forward. Use your arms. And push it back. That's it. Hey, Kat, what 
What kind of achievement have you had since you've been on the Weight Watcher program? You know, I love Weight Watchers. They taught me with good nutrition and great exercise. You can maintain your weight, and I feel great about myself. I love it. That's great. Hip roll, that's what it's all about. It's about feeling good about yourself. That's it. Again, and it's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, and let's walk forward. Here we go. Use your arms. That's it. Come on, use your arms. Warming up the lower and upper body. Good. Keep going. That's it. Let's sway to the side right here. Just sway. Nice and easy. That's it. Feel the movement. We're still in the warm-up. That's it. Good. Nice and easy. Now our next movement will be right, left, and hold in the center. Ready? Here we go. Right, left. Hold in the center. Excellent. Here we go. Hold in the center. Again. Hold in the center. One more time, and then we'll just add some shoulder movement. Ready? Right side, right shoulder, left shoulder, both shoulders. Excellent. Very good. This is one of my favorite things to do is the shoulder roll. Loosens up all the tension in the shoulders. Good. Last time, and then we'll rock step with the right foot. Ready? Right foot go. One. That's it. Come on, pick it up now. Woo! Four more times. You like this one, Kat? I love this step dancing. <laughs> Feels like dancing. Last one. Left foot behind you. Press the foot on the floor. Press your left hip forward and bend at the right knee. Interlace your fingers in front of you. Separate your shoulder blades. Tilt your chin in and lean slightly back. Now pull the shoulder blades in. Release your hands. Lift up. Sit back. Flex your right foot. Make sure the shoulder blades are back and relaxed and your torso is long. Place the foot on the floor, bend at the knees, roll up slowly, and we're going to rock with our left foot. Ready? Here we go. And rock. Excellent. Yeah. That's it. Come on, move a little bit. Four more times. Four. Three. And two. Last one. Hold your right foot behind you. Press the heel into the floor. You need to press your right hip forward and bend the left knee. Raise your arms above your head and bring them out to your side. Drop your shoulders and your ribs. Pull back to stretch your chest. Bring it down and open. Good. Release up and sit back. Flex the foot. Elongate in your spine. Place the foot on the floor. Bend at both knees and roll up. March it out. And let's get started for our circuit workouts. All right, it's time to get moving. Kara will be doing modifications. Sometimes she'll be using weights and sometimes she won't. The next move we'll be doing is called a V-step where you go wide and narrow and wide and narrow. Try that with me. Wide and narrow, that's it. Use your legs, we're working at a moderate intensity and we only have a minute and a half. Four, three, two. Next move will be step kick, ready? Here we go. Step kick, that's it. Come on, you can do it. You want a little style? Go for it. Here we go. Four, three, two, V-step right here. V-step, good. That's it. Step kick, come on, you can do it. Step kick, good. V-step, good. I bet you're breaking a sweat now, huh? V-step, good. Now add direction, move forward. Step kick, step kick. V-step, take it back. Now you really can use your legs right here. Good, step kick. Good. V-step back, come on. Ha. Use it or lose it. Here we go, step kick. V-step back, yes. Good, one more set like that. One, two, three. V-step back. Ready? Hold it right here. Let's get your hand weights. Kara will not be using them. Okay, place your hand weights on your shoulders. We're going to step to the right and sit back twice, and then we'll do it to the left. Ready? Let's try that. Sit back, sit back, step together, left side. This is called a squat. What you need to do here is make sure that your torso stays straight and your shoulders are back and relaxed so that your legs can work. Now drag the leg in. That's it. Using your inner thigh to 
to drag that foot and use the floor. That's it. Now, Elaine, I know you love resistance training, isn't that right? Oh, absolutely, Nancy. I love the way the definition on my upper body and my legs. I never thought I'd get that. Well, you look great, Elaine. I can tell you that right now. Okay, come on, guys. Now sit back. Use your legs. Squeeze your buttocks as you stand up. That's it. One more right here. And hold. Take your hand weights to your side. Kara will pick them up. We're going to step out. We're going to sit back. We're going to raise the elbows up toward the ceiling and toward your hips. Lower down and stand up. Let's try that. Here we go. Down. Lift down and stand up. We're working the upper and lower body at the same time. So we're getting a double whammy. That's it, working the lower body and the upper body. Upper back and lower back. Good, down and lift. Remember to press your navel in toward your spine. Press it in to protect your lower back. That's it. Come on, you're almost there. Squeeze your buttocks, down. Make sure your hips come right underneath your shoulders as you stand up. Oh, you're doing a great job. Four. That's it. Three. Come on, you can do it. Two more times. Last one. Yes. Hold it right here. Let's take the hand weights to the floor and come back to a nice hearty march. Here we go. The next move will be three count march to the right and step touch. Keep going in four, three, pick up those knees, walk it right. Step touch right here, to the left right here. Step touch, come on, you can do it. That's it, let the arms just go naturally. We'll add some arms in a minute. Ready, or in a second. <laughs> walk it here, push and pull, reach out. That's it, walk it, reach out. Again, push and pull. Make the arm movements big, that's it now. Put your hands on your hips and walk to the right. Three knees. Walk to the left, go. Three knees, now pick up the knee, pick up the knee, that's it. Come on, work at a moderate intensity right here. Good, now next time around we'll just add some arms. Let your arms just go and pull down. That's it, take it over. Pull down. Good, two more times, one right, one left. Now we're taking it from the beginning Walk three, step touch, push and pull, step touch, push and pull. Go to the three knees, walk it. Three knees, doing great, come on. We're almost there, three knees. Walk and step touch, that's it. Walk it, step touch. Three knees, come on, you can do it. Come on, one more time over, three knees. Hold it here, excellent. Let's go get your hand weights. You're going to take both your hand weights in one hand. Place your feet hips width apart. Stand nice and tall, hips and ribs towards each other. Take your right foot forward where your heel is off the ground. You're going to brush the foot up, squeezing deeply the front of the thigh and bring it back. Let's try that, brush. That's it, extend from your hips. Keep your standing base leg Bend at the knee, press. Come on, push off the floor. Get both resistance off the floor and from your hand weights. Working the front of the thigh. That's it. Last one and hold. Switch to the other side. Put your foot, your left foot forward. Again, readjust yourself and push it forward. Down, good, forward, down, forward, down, push. Now this is a great way to develop definition in your thighs. It's working that one specific muscle on the front of your thigh. Yes. Push. Push. One more. Push and hold it here. Great, let's keep your feet hips width apart and take your hand weights in either hand. Bring your hand weights up to your shoulders. Raise your elbows up towards your shoulders. Bring it back down and now press your hands away. Squeezing the back of your arms and your back. Okay, let's try that. Four, three, two, here we go. Bring it up, lift, down, press away. Back up, lift, down, press away. I love this combination because it hits so many different muscles for your upper body. 
It hits your biceps, your shoulders and chest, and your triceps and back. Yes, if you need a short workout, you do this for a few times. That's it. Press away, good, three more. Lift and lower, good, how does that feel? Pull the shoulders back, one more time. And press and hold, good. Take your hand weights, place it down onto the floor, march it out, and you're ready for your second circuit workout. Oh, very good job. Okay, we're getting right into it. Put your hands on your hips. We're going to take two steps to the right and two steps to the left. Now remember, moderate intensity, so use your legs. Ready? Here we go, to the right. Big, that's it. Use your legs, you got it. Come on. All right, now we're going to tap behind with the left foot. That's it, big movements, tap right. Very good. Now we'll just add some easy arms. Just throw your left arm down. Throw your right arm down, nice and easy. That's it. That's it, four more. Three, two, new move now. It'll be single step touch right here. Four, three, two, now heel dig, that's it, heel. Let's just add some arms, just pull them back, nice and easy, step touch. That's it, heel dig, remember, pull the heel forward. Step touch, go. Heel dig. One more set like that. Come on, make the movements big. Heel dig. Listen, we're going to take it back to that two step to the right. Big arms and big legs. That's it. Good. Keep thinking of that intensity. Step touch right here. Good. Heel dig. You got it. Ha. And hold it right here. Very good. No weights right now. You're going to place your feet hips width apart. Hips and ribs towards each other and hands are on your hip. Watch me, we're going to circle around and lift up to the side. Use the floor as you circle around. Ready? Here we go. Circle around and lift directly to the side. Now we're using one leg at a time, so your standing base leg should be soft at the knee. When you use the floor, you're going to drag your toe. And when you extend to the side, you're going to extend from the hip and squeeze the buttocks. Take the full benefit of this, since we're not using any weights. That's it. Press your navel in toward your spine to stabilize your hip. That's it. Two more times. Swish it out. And lift. That's it. One more time. And lift. Hold it right here. Let's shift our weight slightly to the right side. Left toe will go around. Hips and ribs towards each other. Shoulders back and relax. Let's go. Take it around and lift. Gwen, are you doing this? I absolutely am. I have yeah. to do it. I've taken off 70 pounds and I don't want to put that back on. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Sensible eating and exercise will maintain your weight goal. Take it around and lift. Take it around and lift. Four more times. Come on, really extend. You do enough of these exercises, you're going to get a nice lean line to your hip. Good, two more times, take it around. Keep that knee soft. Good, one more time. Come on, squeeze and lift, uh, and hold. Now let's go get your hand weights for the next part of this toning segment. We're going to shift side to side. Now bring your palms up toward the, or face them front. We're going to do bicep curls. Just lift the weight to the shoulder. It's right, left, and hold. That's it, and right, left, and hold. Marvelous. Tuck the elbows into your side. Keep your shoulders from moving. Just bend at the elbow to lift the weights up. You're doing great. Ooh, this feels good. Here we go. One more time. Hold it right here. Marvelous job. Let's place the weights back on the floor. It can be a nice, hearty march. Here we go. Now, the next movement will be alternating V-steps. Will you be tapping your left and your right foot? Ready? Here we go. V-step, tap left. That's it. Good. Let's put a little more energy into this. Add a dip. That's it. Doing great. Keep going. Let the arms just be free. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hamstring curls, just step to the right and kick your heel to the buttocks. Very good. Nice and easy arms. 
Now we're moving forward on the hand curls. Good. Now march back. Listen, hip sway. Heel curl, very good. Good. March back. Hip sway. Yeah, yeah, heel curl. Woo! March it back. Hip sway. You're doing fantastic. One more time. Come on, we're almost there. March it back. Hip sway. V step, here we go. V, tap left. Perfect. Come on, use your legs. That's it. Come on. March it back. Here we go. Hip sway. Back to your alternating Vs. Tap it out. That's it. You're doing great. We're almost there. One more set of these. Ham curls up. Come on. How you doing back there? Keeping your intensity up? Yeah. All right. Hold it right here. Hold. Great. Let's take one hand weight now for our next exercise. Let's get into a lunge position. Place your left heel on the floor. Bend forward from your hips. Press your navel in toward your spine. And let your hand just hang underneath you. Follow me with this exercise. You're going to raise up, extend back, bring it back in, and lower down. Let's try that. Up, back, in. Now form check. I'm a stickler for form. I want you to be able to feel the exercise. So make sure that you have a long space in between your ear and your shoulder. Keep your shoulders square to the floor. Try not to have one higher than the other. Keep the abs in to protect that lower back. And place your hand on your thigh. Very good. Okay, you have one more just like that. I want you to hold your arm right here. Hold it and extend back. This is called a kickback. And it really isolates the back of the arm. Avoid shrugging the shoulder. Pull the shoulder back. Very good. Three more. Two more. Last one. Oh, that felt great. Lower down, step together, roll up, and switch sides, switch hands. Lean forward from your hip, hand on your thigh, hips and ribs towards each other. We're going to lift up and extend again. Ready? Here we go. Lift up, extend. That's it. So Gwen, you know, these exercises give great shape to the arms. How did you get those great looking arms? Well, you know, at first, Nancy, all I added in was it had the cardio. And the minute I added in the resistance training, that's what really made the difference. I really started to see some definition and shape to my arms. In fact, when I ever wanted to add some intensity to my workout, all I did was just add some pounds to the weights. That's Easy. great. Hold it up here and extend. Now hold it and kick that. That's right. You know, you can add a little more weight if you feel strong enough. You don't have to stick to five pounds, but if you'd like, you can rise it up just for a little intensity's sake. Last one. And hold. Good. Bring it in. Lower the weight down. Come back to your march. Now it's time to check your intensity. We're working at a moderate level. If you're breathing deeper, but you can hold a conversation, you're absolutely where you need to be. But if you're working a little too hard, just tone it down a bit, okay? All right, this is your third and final circuit workout. Keep that energy up. Our next movement will be two steps to the right and two steps to the left. Remember to use your legs, let your arms go. Here we go, two steps. That's it, now to the left, good, right and left. Now we're going to add a march right here, march. Back to your left, march. Good, two more times, one each side, good. Again. Now we'll change the march to a crossover. Here we go. Crossover. Back to your left. Cross your right. Again. Now we're going to add the arms. Just cross it with the leg. That's it. Use your legs. Hup. Good. Got two more. Then there's a new move. It'll be a double tap right and left. Ready? Double tap right here. Now knees. Lift it up. Good. Double tap. Come on. Pick up that energy. Kara will be keeping her tap. She will not be lifting her knee to keep the intensity lower. One more time. Let's go back to the two-step and cross over. Use your arms. Up. Good. Again. Cross over and double tap right here. Up. Pick up the knee. Double tap. Knee. Let's take it back to the two-step crossover. Cross over. Up. Again. Come on. Big steps. Cross over. Double tap, up, knees, one more time. All right, pick up your hand weights, good job. 
Our next movement, you're going to step back with your left foot. Turn your left foot out just a tad so you feel both your feet on the floor. Straighten your right knee. Shoulders are back and relax. You're going just to lean forward and then press back. Keep your left hip turned front. Here we go. Forward and back. That's it. Working the front of your thigh. Make sure that your torso feels like it's slightly leaning back so you keep it evenly distributed between your feet. That's it. Two more. Okay, hold it right here. Bend at the elbow so that it's a 90 degree angle. We're going to bend forward, lift the elbows up shoulder height, bring it back down, and press back. Ready? Let's try that. Forward, lift, down, and press. Now you're working your shoulders and the front of your thigh right here. Don't be afraid of resistance training. It's a good thing. Muscle increases your metabolism. In other words, you'll be burning more calorie at rest. You'll be burning more calories by reading a book or watching television. That's it. Four more. Try not to lean forward. That's it. Keep going. Work the shoulders. Getting nice shape to the shoulders. That's it. One more time. And lift and lower. Step back. Let's switch sides. Right foot behind you. Turn the toe out. Fit it. Turn your right hip forward. Shoulders back and relax. And straighten your left knee. In four, three, two, let's bend. And push off. That's right. Watch your torso now. Lean slightly back. Let your leg do all the work. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it right here. Bring the hand weights back up to a 90 degree level. We'll do that again. Shoulders are back and relaxed. Here we go. Lean forward, up, down. Now, Rhonda, when did you begin to exercise? Well, I was inconsistent for a while, but I've been working out ever since I've been with Weight Watchers, and it's made a huge difference. So Weight Watchers actually introduced you to exercise? Yep, and I've got lots more energy. That's great. Four more, four, lift. That's it, you're doing great. Come on, you can do it. Two. And last one. Excellent job. Now step forward, take your hand weights and place them back on the floor and give me a big hearty march. Come on. Now the next movement will be a three count walk to the right with a leg press. Ready? Let's try that now. Here we go. Walk and press. Now the press is to the side, like somewhat like a karate kick. Good. Now let's throw away the arm. That's it. Throw it away. Yes. Four more. Four. Now there'll be a new move. The V step will go reversed. So step behind Y. Tap your left. That's it. Good. We'll change the tap to a knee. Pick up the left knee. Pick up the right knee. Good. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. Let's go back to that three count walk. Here we go. Walk it. Kick it. Ha. Walk it. Kick it again. Walk it. Kick it. Reverse V and the knee. Ha. Pick it up. Yes. Very good. You guys sound great back there. Walk it. Ha. Kick out left. Yes. Kick out right. Ha. We're almost there. V knee. That's it. Come on. You're almost there. Last one and hold it. All right, let's go get your hand weights. This time we're going to kneel on the floor. Take your left knee, place it down on the floor. If you need to, you can have a pillow for comfort. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Bend forward from your hips. Place your hand weights underneath your shoulders and have your palms facing back. Shoulders are back, down, and relaxed. Watch me. You're going to raise your elbows up toward the ceiling and lower it down. Ready? Let's try that now. Take it up and down. That's it, good. Squeeze. Right here, you're working your upper back and the back of your shoulder. This is where you're going to uh, pull back those shoulders with a look of confidence. Good, we have one more. Up and down, very good. Lower your weights, 
sit up, place your left hand behind your head and your right hand on your hip. Watch me first. You're going to turn to the right, reach down for the heel, bring it back up, and turn. Here we go, let's try it. Turn, down. Good, now the secret here is to keep your knee facing forward without turning it. Focusing it more on the waistline, getting it deeper into the abdominals. Breathe out. Good, one more. Good, hold it right here. And let's switch sides. You're going to lean forward from your hips again. Make sure the knee is right over the ankle. Take your hand weights, turn them to the back. Shoulders are back and down. Ready, here we go. And lift, and lower. Again, lift, and lower. Good, pull back those shoulders. How you doing back there, Rhonda? Doing great. All right. Pulling back those shoulders. They're coming Good. back. One more time. Lift lower. Good. Sit up tall. Right hand behind the head. We're going to go right into the twist. Ready? Here we go. And twist. Reach. Back up. Good. Breathe out. Pull the navel in to really effectively work those abdominals. You're working all areas of the abdominals here. Good. Breathe out. Keep that knee from moving. Last one, hold it. Now let's take your hand weights and place it over to the side, out of the way, and let's stand up, march it out, and get ready for your cool down. Well, in this workout, it touched upon every part of your body. So now we're going to cool it down and stretch it out. Our first movement will be alternating taps right and left to the front. Ready? Keep your arms loose. Here we go, right and left. That's it, right and left. If you add a little style, that's fine. Just inhale and exhale. That's it. Four and three. Our next move will be tap to the front and then step touch. Here we go. It's one. Step touch right. Step touch. Step touch. Again, tap. Step touch. Tap. Step touch. Nice and easy. That's it. Good. Inhale and exhale. Let the movements flow. You have one more. And then the next move will be tap front, like so. Circle your right leg around and slide to the right. Tap left. Circle your left leg around and slide. That's it. Tap. Nice and easy. Now I bet you feel great right now. That's what exercise does. It increases your energy, it improves your mood, makes you feel strong. So you're right on track. That's it. Circle around and slide one more time, and we'll go right into a grapevine. A grapevine right. Step touch right here, nice and easy. Kara, how much weight did you lose? I lost 20 pounds and I've kept it off for two years now. And you know, I know that regular exercise is a huge part of my success. That's right. Oh, you yeah. got the right track. There you go. That's it. We're almost there. Now just receive this dessert. Here we go. One more time to the left. And stay right here. Take your right foot behind you, right here. Good, place the foot down into the ground. Press your hip forward. Bend at your left knee for a stretch to the calf. Take your right arm across your chest and press it in and open up the shoulder to stretch the back and the back of your shoulder. Ah, release, bend at that right elbow and press it up toward the ceiling. We've done a lot of upper body work. And release. Lift up and sit back. Raise your left toe up to isolate the back of that leg. Good, place the foot on the floor, bend at the knees. You're going to press your navel in to stretch your spine. Lift and lower. Breathe out when you lift and breathe in when you lower. That's it, up. This feels so good, doesn't it, Kara? Oh yeah, my favorite part. Last one and hold right here. You're going to roll all the way up 
and switch feet. That's it, press the left foot in. Again, press your left hip forward and bend at the right knee for that stretch. Take your left arm across your chest. Open up the shoulder. That's it. Woo, and release. Bend at the elbow and reach up to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. And release that. You're going to lift up and sit back. Flex that right toe, shoulders are back, torso is long. Press the foot on the floor, bend at both knees, press your navel in towards your spine and lift. And lower, stretch, good, lift. When you lower, pull back your shoulders. That's it, two more. Pull it back and lengthen your neck. One more time, you guys are doing great. And hold it right here, we're going to roll up and sway side to side. You did a fabulous job. You should pat yourself on the back. You've just completed Get Moving. Get Moving really gets you moving and losing. But when you're ready for another challenge, move on to the next workout, Get Fit. This high energy routine maximizes your ability to earn activity points in a lot less time. And Weight Watchers members will be working out with you to keep you motivated and in your target zone. So thanks for working out with us and keep up the good work.